Okay, hello everyone and welcome. I'm glad you could uh, make it so you could watch this video. Uh, uh, this is Jordan Espeseth and the whole point of this video, it's going to be a short video, what I want to do is just run you through so you know how to get into your account, uh, how to send cards, how to edit cards, and um, just kind of give you a bit of a tutorial of this website so you know what you're doing. And if you do have questions or want to do something more later specific campaigns and different things like this, you guys should all have my contact information and we can certainly uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one call to get you guys going on that as well. So to get you guys started, you're going to want to go to sendoutcards.com. It'll take you to this page. You go to the right here and you can go to sign in. Now you should all have your login information. If you don't, also be sure to reach out to me. But you just type in your username, which is case sensitive, and type in your password, and we'll go to sign in. <clears throat> now, your guys is, might be a little different depending if you're a distributor or a customer, but you'll want to click on card catalog, and that'll take you to this page here, which is kind of like your online hallmark. Uh, as you can see on the left hand side, there's Several different categories of cards. We have birthdays, gratitude, expressions, holiday, keeping in touch, and so on. If you click on birthdays, you'll see that there's a handful of different subcategories. <clears throat> now, Send Out Cards has over, I believe, 10,000 different of what we call these catalog cards. And so there's a lot to choose from. And what you see with these cards are the cards. The front of these cards will be the front of the cards. You can't edit the front of these catalog cards. You can edit the inside uh, of these cards, but I'll show you a little bit later on in this video where we can create a, a Picture Plus card, which is a card that from the front, it's fully customized all the way through to the back of the card, and you can put photos on the front of the card and make it look however you please. But so you can search through these cards and you know whether it's keeping in touch or gratitude, you know, we can just we'll just pretend for the sake of sending a card, we'll just pick one here. Now, I just had a cup of coffee, so let's just go with this thanks a latte card. And you'll see that there's the options to create a postcard, a two panel, or a three panel card, or a big card. Now you can also add this card to your favorites, so if you like it and you're gonna resend this type of card later on, uh, you don't have to go fishing through all the cards. So we'll click on two panel card here. It'll prompt us to the inside of the card. Now if you look up here, we can also click on the front of the card just to get a look at what the front looks like. So there's what the front of this card will be. We'll click back on the inside here. I can just go ahead and type a message right in. So let's say, hello, you are the best. I'll go Jordan. Now, obviously, we can highlight this. We can change the size of it. We can change the font style if we want. I have my own handwriting, which is no good. So if you want your own handwriting, we can certainly get you to fill a form. Uh, if you didn't get it already, it's an extra $25 one time if you do want your own handwriting. Uh, and if you have good handwriting, it certainly looks good. Um, but usually homemade makes me look pretty good. So we can go with, go with that. Um, I'm going to change. Once you fill out the form, and you should have got a form in your, uh, in your email when you signed up about handwriting, and you can fill out that form. You get four signatures. Uh, you can fill it out and send it into the address um, that it's, uh, it says to. It's in Salt Lake City, Utah. And within about two weeks, you'll have your signatures, or if you do the handwriting as well, uploaded into your account. So you can choose uh, your signature to go right on in the account. If you want, you can make it look a different handwriting as, or a different color and make it look however you want. So you can add all that as much as you want. Uh, this first name feature here is really nice. So I'll go behind the hello and I'll just, right here it says insert name. And so I can go insert first name, first name, spouse name, last name or spouse name. And so if I click first name, spouse name, now I'm just gonna make it just so it fits. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. 
Oop, let's go even a little bit smaller here. Their names would probably fit on the card, but it says first name, spouse name. So you could send this card to 10 people or 100 people with a click of a button if it was fitting, and you wouldn't have to go into every single card. It would just take it right from our Send Out Cards uh, CRM and insert their name right in there. If there is no spouse name, it will just uh, obviously leave that out. So uh, that's a really cool feature. So we could also make changes to this side of the card if we want. We could add a picture, which is right here. Just click on pictures. And I could upload more photos if I have a picture maybe of their house on my, on my um, computer or a picture of them. I can just go through. I'll click on the photo that I want and we'll give it a second to upload. And again, if you have a photo of them or a picture of their house, um, that's going to be a meaningful card for them. And they're really not going to want to probably throw that away. It's like a little photo album. And so, you know, they may end up hanging on to that card for a long time, put it on their mantle, their end table, their friends and family will come over and you will have your own branding on the back of the card. And that will uh, give you a little bit more exposure as well. So it's a cool touch when you can just drag the photo. As you saw, I just took it from here and drag, drag it right on in, give it a tilt if I want. I could write beautiful and center it, change the font if I want and make it bigger and put it on up there. Let's make that uh, red, right? So you can edit that all you want and add, get a good photo in there and that, that's a really good touch. So um, as you can see, there's tons of different editing you can do. Um, let's just say this card looked the way that we wanted to. We can go right to this bottom right and hit continue. And it'll take us to the checkout screen. Now, one of the things I want you guys to notice is if you have a portrait card, which is a vertical car card, or a landscape card, which is uh, horizontal, because that'll determine which back you'll have uh, on the back. Now, if I haven't, if you haven't sent me your your logo and your headshot and whatever information you want on the back of the card, be sure to send that to uh, my email and I'll, I'll be sure to create it for you. And so when you get to this point, you would just click in here and you'll have at least two options. And um, as you can see, we want, you'll have a, one that's sideways like this and one that's vertical like this. For the card that we have chosen, you'd want to choose this one. Um, if it was the other card, if it was a horizontal card, you would make sure you want to choose this. It looks sideways, but when it's sitting on the on the end table or the mantle, it'll be it'll be facing the right direction. So just make sure you choose your back. And at this point, we could decide if we want to add a gift. We don't have to. We could just check out. But to add a gift, you just click Add a Gift to this order. We can go to Gifts or Gift Cards. We have you know Starbucks cards and and different type of gift cards that you can add. Or you can go through this, uh, the gift store and, and, and find different gifts that may be fitting. I always love personally to go with the two pack of brownies. And uh, if we wanna do that, we just simply click on it and add it to our cart, hit view cart. And now you can see we got the card and the brownies in there. We'll go to checkout on the bottom right. Make sure that your return address is right. You could change it right here if it's not, or we can also change it so it's default to the right address that you want. We'll hit next step. And then you could manually add somebody in right here if you didn't have them currently in your system, or you could select them from your contacts if you have your uh, database or if you've added people manually to this, uh, this account. Uh, you could just click right here, select from contacts, and select who you want it to go to. Um, since we're here, if you are working on your database, you want to make sure it doesn't have to be in this order, but if you can get into an Excel and it's in columns like this, all broken into separate columns, first name, spouse name, last name, street address, city, state, zip, if they have a home anniversary, a birthday, and a spouse birthday, you want it all broken down into these separate columns. And if you do, uh, it's very simple to upload this right into our system. So if you're working on a database, make sure it looks like that. 
and then we can upload that in. All your contacts will be right there. Uh, you can select your contact, hit next step, and then it'll just say it's going to Jordan Espeseth. This is the standard shipping method, and it says the price. We could send this immediately, or if you want to go out on a specific date. And then we just confirm and go to payment. And then it gives us this order breakdown. It says to ship this with the taxes, it's gonna be $5.33. And then uh, right here, if we haven't gone over the points with you yet, uh, happy to say that soon they will be going off of this and it'll be just a numerical value. So uh, if you were on the subscription, then each point is worth 39 cents. So currently Sendo Cards works as their currency as a point system. So you would take 13 points, it's three points for a card, 10 points for the brownie, and you take 13 points times 39 cents and that gets you to $5.07. You add on the shipping and handling, to send out this card and two brownies in a box will run you a total of $10 and 40 cents. Um, so let's say we did send that out. I'll show you when you go back into your account, what would happen here is uh, you'll, right now I'm at 171. So if I would have sent that out, 13 points would have been deducted from my, from this spot here, the points and then $5 and 33 cents of expense would have been taken out. Now I know it's maybe a little more confusing than it should be and that's why I'm happy to say that they're getting off of this and it will soon just be a numerical value. Uh, but if you're ever wondering what that is, that's you're paying for your cards and your brownies and gifts with points and you're paying for shipping and postage with expense. If you're ever sending a card and a gift and it, uh, it says you need to, you don't have enough, it'll just prompt you to add more and you can add more points and expense again at that same uh, if you're on the subscription, it'll still be that that same low price. So you're not paying more um, if you add more during during uh, the month. So if, if oh, and if you are on the monthly, uh, thirty nine dollars will be taken out of your checking uh, each month, and an extra hundred points will get put into your account. And those points are good for eighteen months. So let's say you're on the subscription for three months, and you didn't send any cards for whatever reason, and now you have an extra three hundred points in your account and uh, maybe now it's Christmas and you want to send a card campaign, you can send out a bunch of cards um, using those points. And you're never locked into that subscription so you can get out and in at any time as well. So I'll go back to uh, the card catalog here and I'm gonna delete these out of, uh, out of my cart, because I'm not gonna send that. I'll go back to main menu and in the card catalog, I want to show you now, so that's again, you can choose any of those different cards and you can go ahead and send those out. Now I want to show you quickly how to create a picture plus card. So that's just again, a fully customized card from front to back and you can choose which type of card you want to go with. I'll go with a five by seven greeting card. And it's going to prompt us to the very front of the card where here we can choose what we want to do with it. As you can see on this side here, we're, we're currently on templates. We have a bunch of different templates that we can choose from. Uh, if you like one of these templates, you can certainly use it and drag in a photo here, here, type in some stuff here. Uh, or, you know, you can, um, we'll just click on this one for now. It has a little text box down here. And maybe I want to um, add a photo to the front, right? So um, we can actually select this to move that up top and maybe we want to go to pictures and take that photo and put their home right on the front, right? And then you can write your message, you know, beautiful home or whatever it is and make it look the way you want. Um, <clears throat> you can also, I've taken these photos from, from online or from Google and, and you can save these different photos. Just go to Google, save it to your computer, and then again, you can always upload more photos. And you know, uh, I like to choose some of these backgrounds. You know, maybe for the for the front of my card. And just make sure when it pops up like this, you can hit it to back, so then it goes to the back. And you can go ahead and just drag that out. And now you have a gray background instead of a white background. I'm going to remove these. 
and show you as well. We can click templates here, and if you if let's say it's Thanksgiving, they have Valentine's Thanksgiving, and uh, you want to choose a certain front. You can you can just select one of these. Let's say you want that one, and this is all editable too. So maybe you don't want to count your blessings in there. Just hit remove. Uh, drag a photo in here. Uh, maybe a text box you can do again if you want a text item you just right here and then your text box will pop up and you can write something into the card and you can do that same thing on the inside you, again all this is fully editable as much as you want if you look at this elements part right here that's kind of just like little clip arts I guess and so I could take this and just drag that right on into the card um, I know they actually have a little realty if we search through these as little elements there should be one that says realty and so you could just choose maybe something like this and you just want to throw it into the card now again these are pretty much just images so maybe you find an image on Google you can do the exact same thing but I can just spice up the card a little bit throw these little images in there so once you have that card, if you've scripted it out and it looks the way that you want, what I would do with these cards, you can hit this button here that says save as a picture plus card. So I'm going to save it. This little box here will pop up just basically saying it's been saved. Um, obviously, you could set, go ahead and send that card. But what I want to show you is back in the card catalog, since I saved that card, I'll click on my cards and go to picture plus cards. And that card is now right here. So it'll look exactly the way I wanted with every everything that I had edited it with, the script, and, and made it look the way I want. So now I can just click on it and send that back out. So it makes it really nice if you've made a nice card, scripted it the way you want. You don't have to recreate the wheel every time. But I'm going to delete that card because I don't need that one. <clears throat> and then you'll see in your My Cards, so when you go to Card Catalog, you click on My Cards, go to the Picture Plus Cards, if you don't have cards here, I should have shared them with you already, but these are just different realty based, uh, real estate based cards that um, I have created and have shared with you as a bonus for signing up. So a lot of these, you know, can't wait to see your home. This is, I believe, is a, a, a pre-listing card you could send maybe with brownies. Uh, you have a beautiful home. It was great to meet you. Home anniversary, congratulations on your new home. It was a pleasure doing business. Our funny little Valentine's Day card. Thanks for the referral. And so, you know, some of these are expireds and, and, uh, and for sale by owner prospecting cards. And so, I believe this one is an expired. So, just for an example, if you guys go in and you say, Yeah, I want to send a, an expired, what you can do is click on this card. And it will prompt you to the inside. Now, again, all this is editable. So if you don't want to say that, then just go ahead and click on it and change it. Um, if you want to change how this is worded, you can certainly do that. Add your signature to the bottom. Go to the front of the card. I would definitely suggest if you're sending it for sale by owner or a, uh, a FISBO, or sorry, a expired card, to take a photo or take it from the MLS as long as you're not breaking any rules or maybe have a photo yourself and put that on the front of the card. If you don't have a picture of their home, I guess this cartoon house would work as well. But I'm gonna click on remove it. And again, just like I showed you earlier, go to pictures, take that photo of the expired home or the for sale by owner, and just drag it right there on the front of the card. That's gonna make a good impression when that shows up on their doorstep because every other person sending the, uh, <clears throat> the exact same stuff, they're just door knocking and cold calling and dropping off business cards and when you send something that's personalized and hopefully you send it with some brownies because that'll really set you over the top, uh, they're gonna love you for it. And then what I would do, if you make this, you, once you word this card and it looks all the way that you want, again, I would just hit the save button because then it's set the way you want. Maybe you had your handwriting and your signature. Just make sure you hit that save button. It's gonna be right in your card catalog again. So guys, that's pretty much it I wanted to show you um, on this video. Uh, if you have other questions, as I said, if you want to set up campaigns, uh, home anniversary or birthdays, or you know, we can get pretty crazy with this and and uh, and automate a lot of this stuff for you too. So if you have questions with that or or any other questions that you have, reach out to me. We can certainly set up a time to to uh, help you guys out. That's what we're here for. 
you guys are sending cards, it's going to definitely help your business just like it'll help mine. So I'd be happy to help you guys. And uh, I hope this helped. Again, let me know if you have any other questions.